At the same time as trying to build machines that see, we're also trying to understand the only machine that we know can see, the human brain. I think it's true that something like a third of the human brain is devoted exclusively to vision. What we're trying to do when we do computational vision is to build a visual system, but also understand that in relation to the human visual processes. Something about the way a human moves is, is obvious to us even when we just look at a very reduced set of dots. The ultimate goal is to teach the computer to see. So for robotics to help robots navigate the world, cars that can drive themselves without crashing into things. Trying to drive animations, uh, especially for special effects and uh, feature films. It's a tremendous engineering challenge that's right at the forefront of what we know how to do. Another big application area is image analysis, the example of medical image analysis. So I'm working in a field in which we use MRI techniques to, uh, uh, to get a better grip on, on what the brain uh, looks like and uh, how these structures interact with diseases that people have. These are uh, applications that you're going to be able to see in your real uh, life and then I think are going to make the world better.